Atheist Republic suspended from Twitter without notice. So, guys, we've uh, already talked about this a little bit, but now it's time to dive into it. So, we have been suspended from Twitter, and we don't know why. Um, so, what happened was, what had happened was, I was on Twitter on April 1st, and I was, you know, because I do some research there, I go pull, you know, things from what people are saying about different stories we're researching, etc. And um, I tried to interact with a tweet, like, like it or something, and as soon as I interacted with that tweet, I get a little pop-up at the bottom of the screen that says, your report has been suspended, you cannot complete that action. And I'm like, excuse me? Why? And I go to check our email and I see an email that says, you have been suspended for violating the Twitter rules. Now they didn't tell me what rules, they didn't tell me what policies I violated. And if anyone is familiar with how Twitter works, you know that this is fairly unusual because when someone gets any sort of restriction against their account or a sus suspension or even, yeah, yeah, like you are supposed to be sent an example of specifically the tweets or content that violates the Twitter community guidelines or policies and an explanation as to which policy or community guideline it violates specifically as an explanation to the action taken against you. We have received none of that. I immediately submitted an appeal. We The appeal was immediate within less than 24 hours, was immediately rejected. And again, the appeal did not even say what specific wrong or what policies we violated. It just said, you violated the Twitter rules, learn more about the Twitter rules here. Send me a link. No explanation, no, no reason why our whole account has been suspended. Atheist Republic is the largest atheist center uh, Twitter account on the platform. Almost 200,000 followers, gone. No explanation as to why. Um, now, this is hugely frustrating because our Twitter account is a very important way that we reach out to uh, current Atheist Republic members, new Atheist Republic members, how we, you know, let people know about what we're doing, how to um, uh, do outreach surrounding our work, and just gone. No longer available to us with no explanation. Now, Bobble, who is our resident Sexy Cali lawyer, brings up a good point saying, isn't this because of the Delhi High Court judgment? Now, if you guys remember last week, we talked about the latest saga in our legal situation in India, which is the people are going after us because of various blasphemous tweets that we have. And so because of that, those proceedings, the Delhi High Court ruled that certain tweets of ours had to be removed from Twitter. Now, specifically, the, based on the written notification that we've received from Twitter on the basis of those tweets, it says that those tweets have been blocked to an Indian audience, but they should be available everywhere else. Now, when what, we had those the nature of the tweets were blasphemous. The nature Hinduism. of the tweets were um, uh, a photo that was advertising a talk that I was giving, and in the photo, in the photo advertising this event, it had a little picture of sexy Kali Kasim Sita, um, you know, highly blasphemous, and another one Hindu was goddess. yeah, Hindu goddess, and another one was like a, a Hindu holy man. Um, talking to an elderly couple and it said something like your ignorance is the source of my income like a pretty mm -hmm. standard meme that just happened to be about a hindu religious figure but people say this that about we have religious figures yeah about every yeah faith. we have Everything. many memes like this about christianity and islam and none of this uh, but the hindu one is the one that the uh, the government in india the hindu uh, the daily high court is coming against and pressuring twitter to they were they are pressuring twitter to suspend our account and as soon as this court case went through our account got suspended uh, so we're just wondering if this is this is very likely it could. I mean, we don't know. It could be. It's possible that it's related, but Twitter is not communicating about uh, to us. Uh, but it's ridiculous because none none of our tweets, none of these tweets, and any other tweets violates any of Twitter's community guidelines. Like we have been extremely careful to be within um, Twitter's community guidelines, and these tweets that the court, the Daily High Court, is like, uh, it's just pictures. It's just pictures of goddesses. Um, so and they're just sexy but there's not even any nudity um even though nudity is allowed on twitter um our depictions of hindu goddesses do not have any nudity but yeah go on so 
you know, we, we had that action taken against us on the basis of, the, of those tweets. And in the latest court proceedings, our lawyers intervened and said, you know, the court should not take action against us until in the, cause the petitioners were not only trying to get these tweets removed. They were trying to get our whole account suspended, trying to force the government to force Twitter to get our whole account suspended. And, um, you know, our lawyers intervened and said, you know, we should be made a party to this case. You, the Twitter or the Delhi High Court should not take action until we have been heard because you are going to be taking course of action against us potentially. And, you know, they had a couple other things that they intervened on. And as a result of our lawyers intervening, we were allowed to become a party to this case, but it had certain conditions. Like we have to file an affidavit, which is something I'm working on with our lawyers on right now. But also there were other things, specifically a condition that content like that which has had action previously taken against it shall not be posted while we are still undergoing these proceedings right well that's not very clear you know offending content like that action has been taken against it what does that mean does that just mean content against hinduism because the petitioner and the judges had a particular issue with the hinduism content or any offending material could be anything related to criticism of religion, depending on who the audience is. Like, that's so vague. What is the barometer for accept acceptable content online? If this is the new standard, nearly every atheist creator online would have to head into early retirement. Because what is, what, what is, you know, what, what are we, what is considered here the offending material is only against Hinduism or is it any criticism of all religion? So, but here's the deal. So the, the, if, so the condition, if that kind of content is posted again, then they can go ahead and take action against us. However, so that makes me think, okay, maybe there was something that they interpreted as this offending material and went ahead and took this action against us. But the big problem is if this is the case, even if that was the case, that that's what happened based on what's going forward in, in the Indian court, it should have only been blocked to the Indian audience under section 69A of the IT laws of India. It should not be a global block, a global suspension, according to the proceedings that are currently going forward in the court. So that is some things that make me believe that it may not be related to this court proceeding. Now, maybe it's related because Twitter has just decided, I'm tired of dealing with these people. We're getting rid of them. They're gone. Who knows? We don't know. And the big problem is, is how opaque Twitter is being about this whole process. We have no way to figure out why this happened or how we can possibly amend it. Um, it's also possible this happened because of mass reporting. Like on the um, article that I wrote about this, I show evidence of, you know, people, you know, posting about their mass reporting campaigns to show how they reported and saying, thank you for taking action against, you know, this account and improving the Twitter experience, right. you know. Yeah, look at um, this. People are celebrating our Twitter. A lot of Indian and um, Hindu accounts like cyber you know what is these twitter accounts called well the ones that are trying to match oh, the hindu it cells yeah like they're they're celebrating like oh suspended atheist republic 136,000 followers fire emoji fire emoji fire emoji and they're like celebrating like if you could read the comments people are happy people are thanking each other this is a uh, the guy that like atheist republic account blocked them uh, uh, on my complaint thank you twitter api so like they're looking at you know an update oh look this person is showing that this their report is look this is an evidence that it was in response to people to the people's mass reports right no, uh, and that said, guy that guy is the lawyer who put the petition in front of the supreme yeah. court yeah so <laughs> it's see, the, the same lawyer, lawyer this the lawyer that is taking uh, our case to the supreme court of india he's like bragging about the fact that he managed to take atheist republic's twitter account down and he, even here i don't know you highlight this one he, even here in our live chat you can see like hindutva um, this our own resident hindutva susanna which is like a pro hindutva member he's saying uh, celebrating our twitter account being taken down uh, she's commenting in the live chat and saying no hate but that's how karma works. So like basically she's saying that uh, we, we got what we deserve, right? So apparently, the, you know. So by the way, this is a good time for people to remember that we actually um, are, to be able to challenge this, our Indian lawyers are not going to be enough because Twitter is an American company and we're gonna try to find a lawyer to basically get Twitter to respond to us and they need to be American and they need to be specifically somebody that is uh, within this, uh, has expertise and background within social media, challenge, like inform demanding information, demanding clarity. Internet rights, um, yeah. Internet rights, exactly. So we're looking for a lawyer like that. 
Um, and if you guys have any contacts um, in on Twitter um, or uh, with any lawyers, please contact Susanna. Susanna, do you mind like putting your email on the screen? And also because we because we are like uh, we need American lawyers now. Um, American lawyers are very expensive. Like so far, we like people have donated to our legal fund uh, four thousand dollars, and that was really good with like helping us uh, take these cases forward in India like we managed to make every dollar count like we have really good lawyers that are showing up in course and you know fighting with the judges over you know it's ridiculous the fact that we have to have lawyers and judges the judge apparently like is they're very aggressive and against us because we just have pictures of Hindu goddesses like guys it's important that we set the precedent that this is insane that India's court system and judicial system is being used by judges that are extremely angry with us for posting tweets about Hindu goddesses and we're not even in India um, you know we, we shouldn't be taking this lying down like we need to like if we just accept these things this, these are setting new precedent for for a country as big as India you shouldn't want this to happen like this is supposed to be a secular country and they're enforcing laws for things that are happening outside of their borders just because they're offended about how their goddesses are being depicted this is insane and they're like pushing twisting the arm of twitter to basically ban an entire account that we have built over the past 15 years right and now now that we need like american lawyers we're going to need a lot more funding to keep pushing forward our legal case um again to make sure that th these that we're not taking this lying down like even if we fail uh, we just want to make sure that we put up a good fight at least for the and it's not just for our sake it's for the sake of everybody who's being affected by this um blasphemy laws that is being enforced outside of uh, to, uh, india's borders and even for the sake of india it's important to fight this as well so this is our gofundme um you know campaign that we have for our which is basically our legal fund um, which is called Help Us Fight Hindutva. There's a link to this fundraiser in the description. If you want to help us like challenge this, challenge Twitter, and challenge all these lawyers and judges um, that are coming against us and all these Twitter reporting campaigns against us, um, please help us um, keep the, keep uh, for us to continue this fight. I, I'm anticipating this is a fight that's going to continue for the next couple of years. And honestly, I think it's our Twitter account being lost. If we manage to like fight this and expose the situation in India because of us losing our Twitter account, if we could like in a few in a few years, if we could bring all of this together and expose everything that has happened and make a big deal off of it and all the legal battles that we had to fight, I'm honestly thinking like losing our Twitter account, uh, it would be worth it. Just you know, I mean, it's a sad, it's a huge cost, but I think at least. At least we are using this as a way to show the world how ridiculous this is. Like even if we lose this battle, I think like we should at least take advantage of it and show how bad and how ridiculous uh, India's justice system has become, and how how big of a lie is becoming for India to claim that it's a secular country. Yeah, I think um, really quickly, um, you guys can help us out a lot by if you are tweeting at Twitter support. So I gave an example of a tweet saying at Twitter support, the user at Atheist Republic has been suspended without any written notice of which policies the account supposedly violated and were cause for suspension. Please correct this. So that's an example of how we really want to cause a storm about this on Twitter itself to try to get more attention to it, try to get more outrage going. Second of all, if you have any connections at Twitter, if you work at Twitter, if a friend works at Twitter, if a friend of a friend that you know works at Twitter, please reach out to me at Susanna at atheistrepublic.com. I really need to find connections within the country, within the company to try to get this addressed more effectively. Um, because, it, or at least do a little poking behind the scenes to see what might have been the cause for this. Because this is, this is ridiculous. Um, okay, so we have some people who, uh, the oxymoron is saying very, you want to read this? Um, oxymoron is saying very sympathetic about your situation, but not as hopeful about the USA case. It's a private entity allowed to be biased and consistent. Okay, so. Yes, you're here, true, but here. we can. Yeah, we could pressure them because they are a for-profit company that they care about the pressure that you put on them. I'm not saying we have a good chance or not, but. Uh, it doesn't mean we're taking that they, every possible avenue, and this includes yeah. 
avenues in India as well as the United States. Yeah, just and we know they have, we don't even claim that they don't have a right, but we just think it's like it's kind of like saying like if you go to a restaurant and they give you bad food uh, and you complain about it and pressure them to make better food, you can't say oh well they have the right to make bad food. Yes, and you have the right to complain about it and to pressure them to give you better create a better environment like you know what i mean like you can it's fair you know it's we're not saying it's not their right but we can still say it's a bad policy even if it's their right ibn qiyam is uh, has a response to that which is a good response here yeah saying as a business twitter will make decisions based on what maximizes their bottom line we need to share this news so it has more public attention to highlight twitter's policies exactly. yes thank you yes. so i would really appreciate it if people could get on twitter and you know stir up a little outrage about this because that would help us a lot draw more attention and also please share this video and like this video that would help more people see that as well and last thing because we want to make sure like like we said we don't create any stereotypes about any of these things it's really good for a reminder pk you want to read this one pk is saying as a hindu i never really understood what the problem is like who cares well yes, thank you so, pk for on being reasonable love it yes. love to see it and a major reminder that we have a lot of Indians and a lot of even Hindus and even some Hindutva who come in, who reach out to us, who support us, who say that this is not right, um, who wrongfully apologize to us. They shouldn't be apologizing to us because they're not responsible for this. But it's a good reminder that we shouldn't be uh, just because uh, some Hindus are offended by what we're doing and are you know, trying all their best to basically completely remove us. Uh, you shouldn't come off uh, from any of this with a stereotypical understanding of what Indians are like or what Hindus are like. Okay, this is not at all the case. Okay, we have some, we have uh, India is one reason why we're doing this is because we love India, we care about India, and we used to have a major, a giant community of supporters in India until like the Indian government cut all our access to it, right? Like they banned us on, uh, from Facebook, they cut our access to India, they removed us from Twitter, our consulates are being privatized, like we, they're trying to make sure, oh, by the way, and, and a reminder, especially if you're in India, to subscribe to our newsletter, because then you will always have access to us and that will never be removed. Um, our, we will always be connected to you that way, so please make sure you subscribe to our newsletter in the description. Uh, but yeah, we 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 love India, and we also especially love all our fans and followers in India, and we would like to one day regain access to all of them because there were about like three hundred thousand of them that we don't have access anymore because of our Facebook page being completely blocked in India, um, at the request of the Indian government. So. Um, we yeah, and this is not just a fight about Twitter. It's also a fight about our website has been blocked in a, a lot of IPs in India. Our Facebook, like uh, we've been completely cut from India, even after 15 years. That was one of the major countries where we were active in, and we don't want to just accept this. Okay, India is important, and we are we are the largest atheist community in the world, and we don't want to be kicked out of India. We were we want to find our way back to India. You know, one way or another, we'll we'll be back in India, okay? And we'll be back with Sexy Cali, okay? We're not just gonna um, leave Sexy Cali out of this, okay? So, anyways, that was the last news. Thank you, everyone. Um, Susanna, did you want to say anything? No, well, thank you for the support that everyone's given us thus far. Um, I will be giving you guys as many updates as I can. In fact, I'm going to be meeting with our lawyers in less than a half an hour to discuss, you know some of these issues so there's a lot we're working on behind the scenes mm -hmm. atheist republic needs your help we've been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abhabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues including judicial harassment and censorship whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight Link in the description below.